It's amazing how much information is available to us, with just a few clicks on the internet. However, despite this wealth of information, more than 90% of the population is still financially ignorant. Let me give you an example. James just received his paycheck of $1,800 after taxes. Instead of using it wisely, he spent it on things like barbecues with friends and other unnecessary expenses. Unfortunately, there are many people like James who are financially ignorant. Changing some negative habits and cultivating a rich mindset can help just about anyone become rich. It's important to note that there are no rich people who are financially ignorant, except for those who got lucky, such as those who inherited a large sum of money or won the lottery. However, it's interesting to know that 70% of lottery winners end up bankrupt after just a few years of being extremely rich. This is because, being financially educated is crucial when it comes to making good decisions with your money. Even if you have a lot of money, you can still make poor financial decisions and lose it all if you don't know what you're doing. If you want to become rich long-term, it's essential to get financially educated. Unfortunately, this type of education is not commonly taught in schools, so you'll have to seek it out for yourself. The good news is that all the information you need is easily accessible online. So, why don't more people learn about finance? There are two main reasons why people don't get the financial education they need, despite it being extremely cheap or even free in some cases. Reason number one is the prevailing mindset. The reality is that financial education is not widely accepted as a norm. Most people propagate a scarcity mentality, and without the right mindset, attracting wealth is difficult. For instance, Parents often tell their children that money doesn't grow on trees and that money is the root of all evil. These falsehoods hinder individuals from taking the necessary steps to financial success. Additionally, there is a common misconception about debt that portrays it as inherently bad. However, if used correctly, debt can be beneficial. The problem is that many people lack proper financial education, so they demonize it. To improve your financial literacy, you must ignore financially illiterate individuals and seek advice from people who have knowledge and experience in money management. This is similar to learning a sport like skiing, where you would prefer to learn from someone who already knows how to do it, rather than from someone who has never skied before. Reason number two is stepping out of your comfort zone and building self-esteem. According to the wealthy, having a high level of self-esteem and confidence is a prerequisite for generating money. Before achieving financial freedom, it's crucial to have a positive self-image and believe that you deserve to be happier and wealthier. In a sense, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. You must first envision yourself as rich. The confident, charismatic, and affluent image you create in your mind will provide you with the necessary confidence to push beyond your comfort zone, which is crucial. As one very successful person once stated, most people fail to succeed because they are afraid of success. This is true. To achieve success, you must take risks and step outside of your comfort zone. For instance, if you wish to start your own business but lack the financial resources, you may need to take a loan and put yourself in debt, which many people find uncomfortable. Charisma and confidence are two essential traits needed to accumulate wealth. Without the confidence to take action, you will never become wealthy. Therefore, before delving into financial education, it's crucial to work on your self-esteem and mindset regarding risk-taking and failure. Confidence will give you the courage and resilience to take risks and perform under pressure. Now that you're aware of the reasons behind people's lack of financial education and the significance of it, it's time to dive into the four most crucial principles of financial literacy. Rule number one, embrace rich thinking. Thinking rich means envisioning yourself as wealthy and adopting the behaviors of a wealthy person, which may involve living beyond your current means. Living below your means, which is often recommended by financial experts, is certainly wise to avoid falling into financial traps. However, it's also essential to invest in yourself by spending money on things that increase your confidence and overall sense of well-being. For instance, cutting down on a few cups of coffee won't make you a millionaire. Rather than solely focusing on saving pennies, aim to acquire new skills that can help you generate more income and achieve your desired lifestyle. This approach can greatly impact your mindset 
and enable you to identify new opportunities for making money. Rule number two. Avoid investing in things that you do not understand. Investing is a crucial part of building wealth, but it's important to start with investing in yourself. You need to acquire the knowledge and skills required to operate a business and keep yourself updated with the latest industry trends to stay competitive. Your brain is your money-making machine, and you must invest in its development to achieve long-term success. If you own a business, you must invest money in it to expand and grow it, just like you have to fuel a car to make it run. Investing in your business may involve anything from marketing, to research, or developing a new product. Real estate and stocks are two other popular types of investments. Real estate investing involves buying units or structures with potential, fixing them up, and then selling them at a profit. Stocks, on the other hand, involve purchasing shares of a company that is for sale to the public. As with any investment, there are risks involved, and you need to be careful about who you listen to and do thorough research before investing your money. Remember the golden rule, never invest in something that you do not fully understand. Rule number three, the power and dangers of debt. Debt can be a double-edged sword and its potential for good and harm is often underestimated. Those who know how to wield it can prosper, while those who fear it may miss out on valuable opportunities. Debt can be classified into two types, good and bad. Bad debt includes loans that you know you won't be able to repay, such as student loans, which can be a heavy burden on one's financial life. This is a major concern, and we should be cautious when expecting young adults to make significant financial decisions. Therefore, only take on debt if you are confident you understand the potential consequences. On the other hand, good debt is the kind of debt that you can afford to repay, and that will ultimately generate profits for you. In fact, Taking on debt can be a tool to becoming wealthy. For instance, you may need to take out a loan to start a business. If the business takes off as planned, you will repay the loan and be free to grow your business as long as you keep up with your payments. Rule number four, build skills to obtain assets. Assets refer to anything that generates income for you, while liabilities are things that drain your financial resources. Your brain is your most valuable asset and you can enhance it to become even more valuable. There are highly in-demand skills in the market that share two things in common. One, they offer immense value to the market, and two, they generate a considerable amount of revenue. Rather than working for someone else, focus on developing skills that can help you create income by providing the market with solutions that bring results. Identify which skills align with your strengths and cultivate your first high-income skill to generate the funds you need to acquire more and more assets. That concludes today's video. I hope it was informative and beneficial to you. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I welcome your feedback, so feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Lastly, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.